Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ahabat fillah, Shaykh Salim bin Fuzayn, Hafidullah Ta'ala said, with regarding to adhering to the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah, he said, hold steadfast to this safe methodology because it's the path to salvation. Because of this, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, عَلَيْكَ بِسُنَّتِي وَسُنَّتِي خُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِ تَمَسَّكُوا بِهَا وَعَذُوا عَلَيْهَا بِنَوَاجِذِ It is upon you to adhere to my sunnah and the sunnah of my rightly guided khulafa after me. Hold steadfast to it with your molar teeth. And then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, فَإِنُّ مَنْ يَعِيشُ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِ فَسَيَرَى اخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا فَعَلَيْكَ بِسُنَّتِي the Prophet ﷺ said, Indeed, whoever lives after me will witness many differences. So it is upon you to adhere to my sunnah. When the differences appear, nothing will save a person except obedience to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ and the sunnah of his rightly guided khulafa. This is the way to salvation. This is the safe path, the path to paradise. Therefore, we must focus on this methodology and no one should be diverted from it by way of those who belittle it and describe it with debasing attributes. These people not only abuse this methodology within themselves, they also seek to disparage it amongst others. This is because they have waged war against this way. They do this because this is the truth path and they want deviation. Therefore, be aware of them, O slave of Allah. Do not suffice yourself with merely ascribing to this methodology and do not suffice yourself with becoming self-taught a self-taught individual to accurately learn the way of the Salaf in order to adhere it, adhere and abide by it. It is mandatory that you display patience upon that which befalls you while traversing this path from blame, belittlement, and other than and other than that. You presently hear abuse and criticism against those who adhere to the methodology of the Salaf. People mention that this person who adheres to this way is old-fashioned, behind the times, and. Uh, so do not be swayed by this. Then the Shaykh said, he said, Therefore be aware, O slave of Allah, do not, suffice, do not suffice yourself merely ascribing to this methodology. Do not suffice yourself becoming self-taught without learning and gaining knowledge from the scholars. Those who are known for their knowledge and those who are upright upon the correct path, it is upon you to abandon the deviant paths that Allah has warned against so uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَتَّبِيُوا سُبُولُ فَتَفَرَّكَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And follow not other paths, for they will separate you away from his path. The path that's mentioned in this verse is the path <coughs> of Allah, the straight path. Hence we are in dire need of this path, especially due to the enormous amount of tribulations present, the large amounts of callers to deviation, and the various means of spreading evil amongst the people. The means of evil are intricate and they reach people within their own homes and while they are in their beds. This means call them, this, these means call them to evil. They call them to indecent deeds. They call them to forbidden actions and they call them to ideological deviation, which they label as vast understanding and culture. They say that people should not remain close-minded and extreme. Subhanallah. So the Shaykh here, Hafidullah Ta'ala, is, is, is making very clear those arguments which many people use against Ahlul Sunnah in contemporary times. That they say that their methodology is outdated, that we don't need those aspects of the creed of Ahlul Sunnah or the menhaj of Ahlul Sunnah, or they try to paint Ahlul Sunnah as being extreme and as being. Uh, like the extremists, like those people who uh, slaughter other human beings and make takfir of others from amongst the Muslim community without the right to do so and without the conditions for doing so, uh, and, and other deviant methodologies. And they ascribe this to Ahl Sunnah. But Ahl Sunnah is free from that. And another point the Sheikh made within that is when he was mentioning the various ways people deviate. 
and that they can deviate in their own homes and that he's making a ishara to what Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah has said regarding the ways in which the shaitan attacks a person is through shubahat or shahwat. Shubahat meaning doubtful ways and this can be ideological. This could be, of course, doubt in your religion in general, but it can be doubt through ideological means by making another path, another minhaj, another madhab, another methodology appealing to you in creed, in your understanding of Islam, in your methodology for practicing Islam. Or the other way is through a person's vain desires. And the internet is full of both of those paths for leading people astray and may Allah bless us with ikhlas with the bat and protect us from those various paths of deviation then the shaykh said hafiz Allah ta'ala the shaykh then said hafiz Allah ta'ala these types of statements should not make a person forsake the way of the salaf and the knowledge of the salaf the methodology of the Salaf is safer, more knowledgeable and wiser than the methodology of the later generations. The way of the Salaf is pure and is taken from the Quran and the Sunnah. While the way of the latter generations is polluted, there is much pollution in their way and it is not pure. As for the way of the Salaf, then it is clean and uncontaminated. It is for this reason you find the books of the Salaf, the older they are, the purer and the more comprehensive and easy they are, or easier they are. Accordingly, the great scholar Ibn Rajib, may Allah have mercy upon him, mentioned in his book titled, The Knowledge of the Salaf is More Superior Than the Knowledge of the Khalaf, meaning the later generations. The he mentioned in there, he said, the speech of the Salaf is concise in wording, but their knowledge is abundant. While the speech of the Khalaf is vast in wording, but their knowledge is minute, letting us know that the wisdom and the hikmah and it lies in the text of the Salaf of this Ummah. They were very concise. They didn't need to uh, write and extensively explain issues because it was very clear, especially in the context of their times. Whereas later generations of scholars, they write big volumes of books. And this is not to take away from their ben benefits that they've left, with, left us with. But as far as the conciseness and the precision the Salaf were more precise and had more knowledge and more wisdom, whereas we require much more explanation and breakdowns. We're further away from the Arabic language. We're further away from, from that time and the context. And so we require more. And even our ulama are not as on the same length, uh, as the same level as the Salaf of this Ummah, Rahimahullah Jami'an. Then the Shaykh said, Allah Ta'ala, it is mandatory that we pay close attention to this matter. This is the way of the Salaf, which there is no means to our salvation except by way of it and except by adherence to it and patience upon it. After we learn and study it in the correct manner, not in a manner which is fabricated and forged and ascribes matters to the path of the Salaf, which are incorrect and untrue, we must be aware of this matter. Then the Sheikh said, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, these are concise words related to this topic, and indeed I cannot encompass this topic in totality and from all angles. But Allah the Mighty and High said, Wadhikr fa inna dhikra tanfa al mu'minin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and remind for verily the reminding prophets the believers. He also, subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Fadakir in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Therefore, remind in case the reminder profits them. The reminder will be received by him who fears Allah. We ask Allah, the Almighty and High, to grant us success, to perform righteous deeds and upright statements. And we ask him to make us firm upon the truth, adhere to it, and be patient upon the harm which afflicts us upon this path. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Thus ends our uh, 
very brief look at this lecture of Sheikh Salim bin Fawzan, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, entitled The Methodology of the Salaf al-Salih and the Ummah's Need for It. That was translated by our brother, Mustafa George. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him. And may Allah bless us all with Am Nafi, Ruskan Taibu, Amal and Muttaqabin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many shortcomings. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.